Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Garage Topics. I said I was going to try and go over every single detail due to the car. Well, this is a prime example. I haven't even washed this car yet. It's got a ton of tar, a ton of goop on it. It's like it hasn't been washed in about a year. The white's pretty good at hiding it, but come along, I'll show you how I clean it up, what I do for the first car for cleaning it. I ran out of time to polish it today. Uh, it's probably going to need another episode to do that, but let's go over the fundamentals of making your car look fresh. First things first, you want to make your car as wet as humanly possible. My preferred method of getting the car super wet is to use a hose. Looks like a ton of pressure is coming out of the hose. Not at all. This is some cheapo hose extension from Costco. It works great, you can get underneath the car with it, and you can clean your gutters out. In most cases, I don't advise doing this, but this car was filthy. Literally, I don't think it'd been washed in over a year. I couldn't get any of the grime off with regular soap. So what I'm using is bargain tar remover. It does what that is, get rid of bargain tar. Close up here, you can see how grimy the paint was. I don't think it did justice from far away. Uh, you let that sit on there for about a minute or so. Then I go back at it with a special sponge, a bug sponge that I use just for that spray. If you use your regular sponge with this bark and tar stuff, you're going to have a really bad time because it's so thick and goopy and it smells weird. You know where I'm going with this. I'm still scrubbing this car because it's disgusting. Take a close up look here, you can see the, how much grime is on here. And when I'm spreading it around with my special sponge, it just makes a bigger mess. So you got to spray it off. You know what they say about men who have a large hose, right? They can clean gutters better. If your wheels aren't wet by now, make them wet again. Cause you're about to clean your wheels, son. I use some cheapo all wheel and tire cleaner. Typically with this stuff, you spray it on and then let it sit for about a minute and spray it off with a hose. In my case, again, I don't think these fresh Honda wheels are being cleaned in forever, so I needed to spray them for a while, let it sit for a minute or so, then I came back at it with a sponge that I only use for wheels and crap because this sponge is disgusting and only deserves the worst. Honda dreams got me like, ugh. This is the exact moment when you realize, man, this guy is really good at cleaning wheels. I probably should subscribe to the Garage Topics channel so I can watch this all the time. Once you're done scrubbing, spray off them fresh wheels. Do it good. Make yourself proud. So we've used the bug and tar remover, cleaned the wheels off, now it's time to actually wash the car like a regular car wash. I get the car as sudsy as possible, I'm a cheap ass and don't have one of those suds guns yet so I just get the sponge, put it in the bucket, get as many suds out, squeeze it, repeat. The look of the AP1 bumper with the AP2 headlights is starting to grow on me. It'll look even better with that front lip. Notice how I haven't directly washed the red Honda badges? It's because it's sacred and should never be touched. Stop being lame and make sure you wash your car with two buckets. One's for the suds, one's full of water so that when your sponge is all dirty and crap like this S2000 made my sponge, you can dunk it in that bucket, get it clean, then not add a ton of dirt back into the suds. Then you can clean the arse and make sure it's clean. Don't be a fool and leave your car sudsy for like 50 minutes. Spray each section off when you're done with it. Now that I've washed every single square inch of this car, it's time to dry it off. I have one of those synthetic chamois. I've had it for a long time. It's kind of like a towel. It absorbs the water and spreads it across so you don't leave any water stains. And it makes you feel good that you get to rub and crush your car. Now that I've done rubbing the car all night, it's time to bring it back in the garage. The S2000 is great at making 32 point turns to get into the garage by the way. Done, stock out. A couple things I gotta drive, but this thing looks a thousand times cleaner. 
This wasn't by any means a professional clean, I just needed to get all the grime off of it because I wanted to feel good and make sure it was clean, but uh, next time I'll wash it, it won't be as vigorous. And I, then I can actually put some clay bars and compound it and then wax it to make sure that the paint stays good. I, I would say it's a, the condition of it's about a 7.5 out of 10. From two feet away it looks good, but when you get really close you can see a little imperfection, but I, can, I think we can fix it up and make it look 10 out of 10, no problem. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I gotta go wash the Hyundai, which needs to wash really bad. Make sure you wash your dog, and after you wash your dog, make sure he subscribes. Catch you later.